Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining. Um, we were waiting a couple of minutes, giving the folks outside a chance to decide if they want to take a risk of the thunderstorms or join our wonderful session. Um, my name is Oliver. I'm the managing director for Dropbox in Germany, and uh, I'm running the German-speaking countries, Austria, Switzerland, uh, and Germany, as well as Scandinavia. I'm here today to tell you a little bit where we're gonna take Dropbox in the future. I, I bet if I'm asking around here, pretty much everybody knows Dropbox. Anybody here who doesn't know it? So if I ask around what you associate with Dropbox, who would say cloud storage? Who would say file sync and share? Less hands. Who would say enterprise collaboration? Ah, okay, so that, that's exactly what we're gonna talk about. Uh, we, we are 10 years old, uh, so the question I always get, yeah, I know Dropbox, I use it for my, my files, my pictures, whatever, but what else do you do? Uh, we're gonna give you a few insights here. First, um, my apologies, a few of these, we are big, we are beautiful, we are bold slides. So right now, we are around 500 million users worldwide, growing with 10 million a month. Um, less known, 200,000 companies use our business solutions, among them some famous brands like Facebook, Expedia, Under Armour in Germany, Adidas, uh, TUI, etc. Uh, so quite, quite an illustrative uh, customer base. <coughs> Products, most of you probably know Dropbox Pro. Those are our two business um, solutions. We have a booth up there if you're interested in any of that information. I'm not gonna waste time on, on that here. Visit us and we're happy to tell you. One thing that many people don't know, and that's also a good question, what's next is, Dropbox has been among like our peer group of the um, SaaS companies the fastest growing. Now, earlier this year we announced we reached like a billion dollars in revenue, eight point some years after launch, being faster than many other names you may know, like Workday, ServiceNow, or Salesforce, actually. And it's tremendous growth, a tremendous ride. It poses uh, the valid question, what's next, how you can maintain this growth rate? To answer that question, let me frame a little bit the problem that we're trying to solve. We're trying to solve the problem of work about work. Now, some smart people from McKinsey have figured out that we spend 60% of our time actually on work about work, organizing ourselves, finding information, um, non-value adding, email floods, information floods, organizing what we do, how we organize our teams, etc. That's 60% of our work time. Or to make it a little bit clearer in the picture, today is Thursday, we are all here. Imagine I'm I think most of you were probably in the office or doing some kind of business Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Think about those days that you spent this week. This was just pure work about work, not really productive. Huh? And today and tomorrow are actually the days where you're productive. Huh? That's the problem that we are trying to solve. Why is that? We have asked ourselves. If you think 20 years back, the world was pretty simple. Now there was email. There was a file server uh, and maybe some hard drives of the USB stick was just as its peak. Uh, since then, 20 years later, of course we have the same stuff uh, in a much different magnitude and tons, sorry, it's building tons of other solutions that help us interact with others in some way. Uh, I, I'm sure if you, who remembers his first PC? You know, mine was around that time at the university. It was like a Siemens Nixdorf, you know, like one of these greenish ones. When you open it, uh, it was pretty empty. Now uh, there was Windows 3.1 or whatever. There was uh, Word. There was like systems, <coughs> but that's it. Uh, there was not much. If I opened today, uh, a lot more of applications. If I look at the mobiles, all these apps, just massive. Uh, and all that information, interaction, time that we spend on that. Huh? How does it look? We, we spend a lot of time on our users and our consumers. Now, Emma is a marketing manager. We sat down with her and mapped out actually how does it look for her. With who are you interacting? What are you using? Uh, how does the picture look like? And amazingly, it looks like that. Uh, not much explanation, it's just a pretty mess. And I believe if many of you are honest, 
sit down and draw a similar picture. Who are you interacting with on a regular base? Which tools are you using? Where are you storing information? What's happening? It won't look too much different. Huh? Do it for yourself. Huh? It is incredible, and it's not efficient. Huh? It's stuff in lots of different places. I don't know, the build is a little slow. Uh, lots of teams that she's, it's not getting less. Uh, we're working with more and more people. And lots and lot of, lots of tools. Uh, so the essence for us is teamwork has evolved. We're working with many more people inside, outside the organization, but the tools have not kept up with. Uh, and honestly, it took us also a while to figure it out. Uh, that adding just another tool to that doesn't help. There are many, or some of you may have used our um, email application or Carousel or Picture app. Uh, it was just another tool. Uh, it wasn't making the life inside such a picture easier. Uh, so that's why we abandoned those and focus on things that actually make the life of people easier in such an environment, if you look at this. Adding another tool is just adding to the mess. It's not value add. So, coming from this, our past is keeping your files in sync. Uh, when you think about Dropbox as cloud storage, uh, file sync and share, it was basically there were the files, different um, devices that you used. We kept it somehow in team uh, together. In the future, we look at Dropbox more like keeping teams in sync. Uh, when you think about the marketing manager, think about anybody that working with teams in this mess, how when can we keep those in sync? Uh, not by adding another tool, but by developing tools that make their life truly, truly easier in that environment. How are we going to do that? We'll see now. We redesigned Dropbox massively for those teams. Basically, three foundational pillars that we're going to talk about. The first one is bringing the file server into the cloud. I'll say a few more words about that in a second. The second one is bringing modern collaboration to old applications and to the classic file. And the third one, um, the thing we're going to focus most time here, is actually moving beyond the file. How uh, many people say, oh, file is old stuff. Now well, there's fancy stuff out there. What are you doing? Uh, that's what we're also going to show here in the live demo. What about the file server? The file server was the first answer to a couple of problems. Uh, number one, limited space on devices. Uh, device full, where do you put it? You put it on a uh, shared drive, uh, X drive, Z drive, however those things are called uh, in your environment. There's tons of those things out in companies. Do they truly solve the problem that we have nowadays, how teams work? No. Why? <laughs> Difficult to access from mobile devices. Nope. Uh, when you need to go through the firewall with like, all kinds of applications. Um, Secondly, not really accessible for externals. Huh? So what we work on is giving the file server experience in the cloud, so it's truly accessible from the devices that people use, and also accessible for all the externals so that you're working with. This is, in our environment, called SmartSync. There's a lot of technology around that to really make that experience. Huh? If you move that stuff to the cloud, you want to see it uh, still in your browser, you want to be able to search it without loading your hard drive. Uh, you want to have the same experience uh, as if it's there, uh, but yet it's in the cloud. So um, some amazing uh, work that our engineers have done to give you that experience where you store your stuff in the cloud. It's like a file server from the functionality. For you, it feels like Dropbox. You still see it in your browser. You can search it in this and download like a preview uh, in milliseconds, see, is it the file that I need? If you really need to work, if it's heavy work, mm -hmm. download it. If you just need to check something, screen through preview. Fantastic experience. Um, da nickt einer. Worthwhile <laughs> checking out. <laughs> uh, and truly ha um, helping teams to work in this modern environment. <coughs> Secondly, modern collaboration around files. I brought you here a screenshot of Photoshop. Now, this is only an example. I'm not not bragging on it, I'm myself a hobby photographer, and I also use it to um, work on my, my pictures, cut them, uh, make them nice. The thing around this is, it is engineered 
with a different mindset. It's engineered for one person that's sitting somewhere in isolation and working for the file, on the file. It doesn't have any modern collaboration features. You're not seeing who else has seen it, who's working on it. You cannot do comments around it, workflows, and all those kind of things. Yeah? It's a simple tool to work on a file. So if you put it in Dropbox, we add exactly those features. You see who's working on it. You can have comments, workflows, all those things around it. Yeah? So it gives a whole new life to what we call legacy applications uh, and legacy tools that have been built with a total different paradigm of thinking about the user and how people work, how teams work, how enterprises work. Mm? It looks like this then. Uh, that's the build. It's the preview screen that some of you may from, uh, see, uh, know from Dropbox. You see the people that you have shared with, colored. You see the lady has checked it. If it's like darker, the people haven't been on there. Let's hope that the, huh? the build doesn't work as I wanted to. Down there, you can then comment around it, fix that. You can have comments in the document. So a whole collaborative layer on top of an old application. And that works for most of the applications. And it's enabling what's out there without replacing it, without like pushing something new into the companies um, to leverage what they have. And last of the three big pillars is moving beyond the dock. Um, again, a test here. We have a, a little movie. Let's see if it's running with tone. Yes, it it's is. about people working together in a more human and connected way. Because that's how people grow the best ideas. That's paper from Dropbox. It's just what's needed to keep everything moving. Everyone adding and creating together from wherever they are. It's staying connected and keeping each other going with comments that feel like conversations or fist bumps or whatever that one is so that an idea can inspire an image that sparks a look and feel, and even more ideas about music, and motion, and color, that all make an idea into an even better version of itself. That's why we made paper. Because when people work together in a more human and connected way, they grow better ideas. That's paper from Dropbox. So, so movies are always nice. The product went into GA earlier this year, and uh, so we can show it as uh, yeah, one, one should be able to. And I brought Thomas, my head of marketing, to actually show how we internally use it. I think you're going to show us um, how you used it actually to prepare, prepare this event here for us, right? Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Yeah. Thomas. So um, the big question is, uh, what is paper? How did we end up to generate the video that you just saw? So paper is not papyrus. It, is, uh, it just got the name from it. Uh, pa, paper. And uh, it has a history of 4,500 years. Uh, it innovated around. It got used and abused. It never went bankrupt, actually. Paper is in use. And it got really abused with the typewriters. So lots of hammering on paper. It got destroyed. It got folded until the next big innovation came around. And this innovation changed everything. And this is Tipix integrated uh, uh, typewriters. So what happened is um, paper got less abused, less destruction but a lot more hammering because you had to revert and uh, correct errors. So was this the last step in the innovation cycle of paper? Probably not. So a big, big disruption happened. And you talk about disruption when things go online. So everything changed with bringing this piece of paper online. And online is when the world becomes easier. So it became a lot of, uh, uh, lots easier uh, working on paper online. No hammering anymore. No destruction, but beautification. So we got formatting left and right. People spent time in formatting paper, 
rather than putting the content together. If you looked at the iteration of formatting uh, took in the certain documents, it, it it's went significantly up in time versus content created. So what is Dropbox paper today? How did you end up at the video before? Um, it is digital, it is mobile. You got a paper app just like you got a Dropbox app. Uh, digital, the workspace is digital. Every single Dropbox user has paper. Turn it on, paper.dropbox.com, you are right in Dropbox. It's as easy as the base product, like the file sharing thing that you know, with all the collaboration around. So it's for people. We looked at the user, the end user, the employees. What do they need? We want to tear down silos. We wanted to make it easy, clean, and simple. If you open a new paper document, it actually looks like this. It is clean. You start from scratch. It's about forming ideas, bring ideas together. Uh, be fluid. Uh, it's a conversation platform plus a content platform. So this is what we mean with collaboration. It is easy to uh, get rich data into um, a document in this paper, uh, Dropbox paper. And first and foremost, as I mentioned, it has mentioned tasks and it has tasks to be implemented. And this is where workflow components right at the content piece within paper make this so much more fluid and dynamic. When we start projects um, out there with our customers, with our business customers, we put out paper as a project uh, reporting tool. It gets adopted within a day, 10, 20 users. Which other document gets 20, 10, 20 users online? It is really, really accelerating and viral. It is uh, what we use to uh, create a project very seamless. So you saw one video. Um, I got another one just to show how when people ideas work together, flow on paper. ideas can start anywhere. Stuff that never would have been thought of is thought of. Paint is thrown. Things can get messy. When people work together, ideas can come from anyone. Aha moments increase. The impossible becomes a little more possible. Details are sweated. Purple can be genius. When people work together, they gather around ideas. Work flows just like the caffeine. Visions take shape. Bravery is rewarded. And great ideas become even greater when people work together. Did you see there's this fun component, creativity, uh, engagement? Um, actually, we produce a lot of videos, but we have a live demo. We are always live. Dropbox is supposed to be live around the clock. And paper is live around the clock. So I wanted to show you in a use case, in a real world example, no video, but here in front of you, how we prepared NOAA, the conference. We had to organize a project. The project was organized in paper. I start with about four or five days ago when we had the review meeting before coming here, but the document that I'm going to show you um, has three sections. And these sections are before NOAA, preparation, then at NOAA, what we do at NOAA to collect information, images, social media, quotes, statements, and so forth. And what do we do post NOAA? post-event report, what does a marketing, uh, marketer do? Counts leads, uh, uh, looks at conversations, is there a new messaging point? This is what we do with this uh, liquid platform Dropbox paper. So I give you a quick overview of what it is. So we prepared NOAA conference 2017. Hashtag is insert here. Two weeks ago, I gave uh, my colleague um, Carl Christian a task to implement a map of the surroundings so everybody, the, the Dropbox team should know where they go. 
uh, simple cut and paste. That's not mind blowing, but the task incorporated into the product is, uh, you see the task is fulfilled, the picture is there. Um, on we go, conference description, uh, we get the program with links, speakers, and overviews. Uh, we have the Dropbox specific program for the show, which is this presentation, for example. We have a booth up there, L8. We show everything about paper there if you want to come and entertain a paper demo later. Um, one of the sales reps asked me, um, how does our booth look like? So we didn't have a booth design in there. The booth was not present. Remember, we are in preparation mode. Um, here you've got all the uh, formatting columns at the tip of your cursor. And um, I know we prepare the booth design in the PowerPoint. Uh, so I go right into my Dropbox. This is my Dropbox interface. And um, I know the booth uh, design starts with, an, um, uh, with the notion of NOAA design. So I find the PowerPoint here, simple click. And it gets incorporated with the, uh, with the design, actually. Um, our booth has a back wall, a screen, and a desk in the front. The screen should be populated with the videos you saw. But we want to uh, have multiple videos and show what the, the product can do. We have customer reference videos on, on Dropbox paper already. So I know there is, uh, from our product marketing, there is uh, another document created in paper which um, just lists a library of all videos around um, uh, paper. So with the simple plus sign, got the English uh, keyboard here. With a simple plus sign, you get into the library of all paper documents in your work account. And I'm looking for the background videos. Uh, for Noah, which is exactly this document. So I can link it in, and if I converge into this document, I see all the videos. This is the one you saw before. This is the one I showed you. We have some more uh, listed here, so we, in, we have them at one spot, and we can actually load the videos for the back wall right from there. So back in the organization document, of course, this um, paper document uh, stays connected with. Uh, it is just a very good part of the preparation. Um, when I prepared uh, the event for our team, all team members, um, I had a couple of people helping me prepare. But then uh, the sales reps, they should be informed and they should see exactly what I put on the paper here. So our um, sales rep, Mai, can be invited to the paper as much as um, Daniel. I could send a message to them. And with a simple uh, send, I can add additional members on uh, this paper. If I accidentally added someone who should not see this information, I can easily take him out, remove him again. If uh, the sales reps who like to do own dynamics shouldn't change it, um, they can comment but not edit the paper. So this is pretty much uh, the regulation on how a paper can be controlled. Um, again, if you add various um, headlines, so this is not a headline at the moment, but you make it a headline too, it will be automatically added to the menu on the left-hand side. There's no cut and paste, there's no formatting a menu, the menu is generated on the go. So this is the preparation stage before we go to NOAA. So now at NOAA, right now, we have half a day into the conference, we collected information already, we uh, got a Twitter world out there that reports about NOAA. We want to know about this. We want to be prepared. And uh, we have a section here at NOAA. This was a picture I took this morning when the stage was set. I wanted to inform Oliver about the section, uh, the, the stage. So I put in a notification, Oliver, see, uh, the stage is prepared. That's not a task, it's a mere notification. So uh, this gets triggered in the email and Oliver is all taken care of in uh, knowing that the things are set up. So if we do something, um, or I also added some booth conversation. Someone at the booth before said Dropbox paper. That's a total contradiction. And indeed it is if it were uh, offline. But we talk about Dropbox paper, the online tool, the collaboration tool, which enhances uh, any file share. 
So um, a lot of the questions that we get a lot is how do I get paper? Again, it is part of every single Dropbox account. If you have a Dropbox account, you have paper. Just go and use it, paper.dropbox.com. It's as easy. So if you look at um, mentions, I said this is a collaboration tool. So you can pull in people that are not even here at the conference. You can pull in people that are at the booth, at the Dropbox booth up here. And um, if I were to enter a mention, Carl, Christian is here in the audience actually, and I uh, wanted to ping him and say, give me some impressions about, about Noah. So with entering this information, he gets notified, and uh, whenever he gets to do it, he can pull in a picture that uh, he takes, and this is how we collect information about the event. Not every single picture might be relevant, but we are collaborating. We know something's going on. Someone else is adding quotes in there. Um, oh, thanks, Kalle. Um, <laughs> This is a picture he took before when Oliver presented. What about um, the latest uh, uh, status about Twitter? We, we try to Twitter engage people beyond an audience in an in-person audience, but out there in the virtual world. Um, I know Barbara Twitters a lot. I do, this was the wrong handle. Barbara here. I notify Barbara. Oh, someone, someone is online here and is uh, erasing information. I can notify Barbara to get me uh, the tweets, actually. So he, she is collaborating. Actually, if you look at the post NOAA, this is at NOAA. We are collecting data. This, this document will live until the uh, show is, uh, has ended. And we will um, continue to use the same document, which you use for preparation at the conference at the end. And um, I can already enter a couple of tasks. For example, um, load contacts into salesforce.com. I can assign this to Kalle. He is my colleague in marketing. And uh, we try to be very agile. We want to be done with this on Monday. So we give this uh, task uh, due date to Monday. Uh, Kalle is notified. He'll see this uh, request. And uh, he can check off once he is done. We also have a social media person who looks at the event from Bad Reichenhall. This is in the border of Germany to Austria. And uh, he's our social media expert. Um, he is analyzing who is tweeting what, whether there is relevant content for us to pursue. And I want him to upload a network of all tweets, of all conversations that has been going on at, at, at uh, NOAA. So I want to send him a reminder. So far, I've just collaborated with people in my team within Dropbox, but I can easily do so with people outside. The mere um, email suffices to uh, make people collaborate with you within this document without having a Dropbox account, actually. So um, please send the social graph. And I want to give this a date on Monday, because we want to uh, provide interactions on Monday on this. And I assign this to Liquid Newsroom, which is our um, social media um, provider. And with this task, it got sent to um, Stefan Konrad, our social media person. So you can spin this off. This task uh, list, obviously, is going to be expanded over time. because, And you can pull in templates. Um, if you uh, organize events, they most likely have a similar procedure. But you can pull in a template, but assign tasks to other people, depending on where they are. So this should conclude uh, the Dropbox paper demo. Just give you a glimpse of what it can do. This all happened online, instantly. Again, tearing down borders is uh, what it comes down to. And this is what we wanted to achieve. And um, if you want a more detailed um, presentation on this, come by at our booth, L8. Uh, Oliver? Yeah. This is uh, the insights we wanted to give you live on the document. Yep. Thank you, Thomas. Thank you very much. So um, j just to wrap it up, I said the problem we're trying to solve is like team collaboration. Huh? If you think about what's happening here typically, 
Uh, like how many emails are there? Like WhatsApp, um, PowerPoint sent around, and files, etc. Uh, we believe this really solves a problem of coordinating a team around certain things. I personally use it for a lot of for my one-on-ones, for all kinds of projects, for briefings, etc. Because you can simply put everything in there. You have in one document all kinds of media. It really helps to get in control of the mass uh, um, that we have in team collaboration. If uh, for the Final minute, if I can ask you to remember a couple of things, like when being asked about what Dropbox is about. Uh, on the one hand, the old Dropbox that you know, we're going to take it uh, to levels enabling teams to collaborate. As I said, like, with, like replacing the file server, putting this into the cloud, helping you to have unlimited storage, always accessible for you and whoever you collaborate with. On the other hand, we help you uh, to make your legacy applications, uh, your applications that have non, not been built for collaboration, collaborative, and we are selectively adding new tools that really help reducing the mess by pulling content that's dispersed uh, into one piece and not just by adding another tool. And paper is the first one of that. Uh. If uh, the majority of you remembers that after the session, uh, big gain for us. Um, even bigger the gain if I can motivate you to uh, a trial paper yourself. Maybe download the paper app. Uh, it makes it a little bit more handy on, on the mobile as well. Um, cool thing, if you need a little bit of advice, you want to see a little deeper questions around it, see our, uh, our booth and talk to our folks there who can show you like far more than we just showed here out of our uh, single use case, what all is possible. Uh, it truly helps solving team collaboration issues uh, where your stuff is in so many places and you just cannot keep it together. With that, thank you very much and enjoy the next day and a half here at NOAA. Thank you.